So what we have here, everybody, we're going to introduce the iliotibial band along with some of the glute muscles into the tank so that we can see some kind of natural movement in motion. We know that the water acts as a filter, um, a color filter. And so what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to give it the opportunity to move because in the anatomy laboratory, you're studying from a cadaver and everything is static. We try and introduce movement. We try and introduce movement as much as we can in the laboratory. But what we really want to try and do is make it make some kind of an environment or scenario that will make some kind of a demonstration of what the tissue might move like in our bodies, because we have the opportunity to see it moving within nature, right? The water is much more natural than how I might move it when I'm holding it to teach from the model. So what we have is this is the distal end here. This would be going to the knee. And so then the iliotibial band there. Okay. And so all I'm going to do is I just kind of want to let it move around on its own and uh, see what I can point out or what you can see. So now you're looking at the superficial surface now. So down here is the end for the knee where my fingers are moving. Good. And so the tensor fascia lata, I'm holding on the deep side with this hand here, the TFL. That's the gluteus maximus that's hanging down towards the bottom of the frame, down towards the bottom of the tank. And I just like to let it be and just let it go. See what it's gonna do, how it moves. Now we'll come back to the deep surface again. And this now, maybe we can really zoom in and see the different texture and direction of the iliot on the back of the iliotibial band. Maybe we can come in real close. You can see the TFL up there in the top. Yeah, we can see the horizontal direction. Let me tighten it up again. I just really like seeing it move in relationship to the water. That's the deep surface of the iliotibial band. Uh, to the knee end again. Look at all the different fiber direction. It's nice to see it wave in the water. And then we're coming up to the tensor fascia lata again. That's the muscle that we can see there. Now if we zoom out again. That's good. So the TFL is up here. Beautiful. See the large gluteus maximus hanging off the bottom. Now I'm going to try and just do this, go this way. Because you can always slow it down when you're watching the recording. See the movement go in a different way. That's the superficial surface. I always enjoy seeing it. I hope everybody enjoys seeing it as well. And we'll finish with a nice straight deep surface view. Let everything just kind of excellent. The famous tensor fascia lata muscle up here, the deep surface of the iliotibial band in its shimmering beauty. Thanks, everybody.